This is the Transportation TV News Update. I'm Tony Dorsey reporting. Congress reconvened this week and will remain in the nation's capital for a few weeks before adjourning October 8th in advance of the November 2nd midterm elections. Several important transportation issues remain unresolved, including a multi-year surface transportation reauthorization bill, now almost a year overdue. This week, House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee Chairman James Oberstar, Democrat from Minnesota, expressed support of President Barack Obama's recent proposal America, to front load a six-year reauthorization strong, bill with an additional $50 billion strong, for transportation strong, infrastructure during the next year. Oberstar called the administration's plan a step in the right direction toward creating a $500 billion six-year reauthorization for highway, bridge, transit, and high-speed rail programs. AASHTO has released a series of three reauthorization reports this year identifying a need for greater federal investment in surface transportation to increase capacity in America's transportation system. All three reports and examples of state capacity needs are available at expandingcapacity.transportation.org. Tuesday, September 21st is the date and the Renaissance Hotel in Washington, D.C. is the place for the second annual U.S. DOT Safety Summit on distracted driving. Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood says the purpose of the summit will be to help shape the nation's efforts to establish safe driving habits for all motorists, especially teens. And finally this week, if you're in the transportation industry, there's a new website you need to know about. Everyday Counts is the title of a new initiative underway at the Federal Highway Administration to deliver construction projects faster, with less costs, and inconvenience to the traveling public. You can locate the website at www.fhwa.dot.gov forward slash everyday counts. That's the Transportation TV News Update. Thanks for watching.